Hi there, my name is Mike James. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, what I want to do today is uh, just show you around one of my jobs and talk to you uh, about the difference between natural hydraulic lime and lime plus C. And this is a 17th century cottage. List, uh, it's, a list, it's a listed cottage actually, grade two. Um, and when I first arrived on site, the stone was tremendously badly perished, um, very, very soft. And so I had to make a judgment call and I made a decision to use lime pussy and the reason for that is because it's softer and more porous than natural hydraulic lime which I would regard as a bit of a cementitious product equally though the conservation department are happy with either it's just a question really of whether you have very soft stone and whether you needed cosseting um, in something soft like lime pussy now this is my own mix um, you can buy it three bags uh, you can buy it pre-contained, already contained I should say, um, but I like to make my own mix um, simply because I can choose the shade of uh, the mortar and this is a very, sort of, I'd, say, I'd go so far as to say it's quite creamy. Um, if you do have a listed building, before you embark on any kind of work like this, uh, it's probably best to have a little word with the conservation department and explain what you want uh, to have done. It's best, I would recommend, uh, that you've got consent for something like this because as you can see, um, by putting in a lot of lime putty or natural hydraulic lime, you dramatically change the impact of the front of a building, which, which in turn uh, impacts on um, impacts on the way the village looks. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions uh, about this kind of thing, please post below. I'll only be too happy to answer. Thank you.